So, uh, Raho Kamir, Punch Out Boxing. I'm here with Derek Asazi ahead of, is it better to say, the biggest fight of your life? Yeah, every fight is a fight. Sometimes waking up with my three year old and seven month old can feel like a biggest fight as well. <laughs> but yeah, no, a great fight. Looking forward to it. Yeah, ready to go. Uh, did you get plenty of notice uh, for preparation for this fight? I had enough notice. Yeah, I knew at four weeks. But like I said, like, I'm always in the gym. Um, you can't take a fight like this on four weeks' notice if you're not always in the gym. Um, so I'm confident of how I prepared, I'm confident in my ability, and yeah, confident to go get the win and get the job done on Saturday. Uh, at one point, you were one of those uh, sort of top prospects, um, and uh, I guess your career never got the sort of momentum that I'm sure you'd have liked. Uh, what was the reason? Is it personal reasons? Is it just the business side of things? Listen, I, tell, I can tell you this, I've never been injured. I've never missed a fight through injury. Never pulled out a fight. Um, so make of that what you will. Um, there's a lot that goes into boxing that's nothing to do with you competing in the ring. Of course, every fighter would want to stay active. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not the one that has the power to make fights. You know, I know there's a lot of fights I've been spoken about. Um, apparently, I've been told I've been in that category of who needs him, you know, high risk, low reward. Um, but that's not important to me. Um, I keep my head down. I do what I do. Um, and then when these opportunities rise, I'm making sure I'm ready. Yeah, indeed. That's all you can do. L last time out, uh, you had a good win against uh, Julio. He's, he's a journeyman, but he's one of those journeymen that if he had a big promoter behind him when he was younger, he'd have probably been a contender. Um, he's fought all the top prospects. But ideally, would you have liked, say, a 10-rounder before you go in with someone like a Bentley who's operated at world level? I'm confident of the work I put in the gym. Like I said, I'm always sparring. Um, and yeah, it's my last fight. But then again, I know he had he came back on a comeback show. I think he was like ESPN Young Fighter of the Year, like years ago or something like that. But that's all that's all not important. At the end of the day, um, the fights that have happened before, experience, rounds, it doesn't matter because when the bell goes, it's going to be me and Denzel in there. Um, so yeah, so I don't really think into that too much um, I'm just focused on Saturday yeah absolutely um, I know you don't like all the trash talk and what have you but um, you know Denzel I'm sure you've seen his fights last time out looks like he's a top level puncher um, how do you psychologically prepare yourself for potentially getting hit harder than you've ever been hit you get prepared the same way you prepare for a rubber fight really um, I'm, I'm I'm being honest if you are going into a fight overly concerned about what another boxer possesses and their strengths too much, then you might be walking a defeated road already. So I don't really focus on that. I focus on what I do um, and that's what I'm going to do on Saturday. So, so you mentioned up there on the table that you, you, you ain't going to go into his strengths and weaknesses. Do you and your coach or just maybe a coach, do you look at your fights or are you someone who you prefer to just sort of get into the ring and work it out? on the night um, I trust my coach of course we'll work on certain things I'm not going to come up here and say what we've been working on uh, but for me I feel like I've never been a big believer on you know focusing and preparing on one set way for a boxer because you can go into a fight and do something different so my thing is I prepare for all eventualities I prepare for all scenarios so yeah so irrespective of what Denzel brings on Saturday we'll be ready for it I mean get a win uh or even a good performance. I mean, the middleweight division d domestically is, is yeah. hot right now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's an opportunity if you finally get some of them big fights. Uh, other than Denzel, uh, how do you assess the, the scene here in the UK? Yeah, I guess it's thriving. For me, um, not my concern right now. As a boxer, I think you have to be careful. Don't, uh, don't think ahead of your next fight. And right now, my next fight is Saturday. I've got a job to do couple of weeks after that then we can talk about the scene and what's next but right now my focus is purely on Saturday um, and Denzel Do you still have certain objectives uh, that you want to achieve in this game or are you just taking it fight at a time? Boxing has taught me that you can have objectives and goals but of course take it one fight at a time um, and for me my main thing is you know when I do get these opportunities make sure I'm prepared as well I have and uh, perform to the best of my ability and that's what I'm going to do on Saturday yeah a sensible approach and what I'd expect from a preacher you're a pastor are you uh, okay can you tell us uh, what was 
last Sunday sermon about? I didn't preach last Sunday. I was on the road last Sunday. Okay, all right. Uh, well, I won't ask you to tell us what uh, the coming weekend's one is. But um, uh, where where do you uh, uh, do your preaching? Uh, so I'm part. I'm the head pastor of the youth church of God Yard Ministries, uh, a ministry based in. And obviously, I'm from London originally. Been living in London for the past twelve years since uni. Um, so yeah, it's been amazing. Wasn't part of the plan. Wasn't part of my plan to become a pastor. Um, but yeah, God had other plans. And I just sort of kind of followed the call. So yeah, it's been amazing. That's better say you're a very spiritual man. I'd like to think so. I'd like to think if you're in the church and there's a pastor, you'd want him to be spiritual, isn't it? So yeah, so I'd like to think so, but that's not for me to say. I think that's for the man upstairs to say. So Spencer Fearon, what he once said something about how boxing, especially at the higher level, it's almost a spiritual experience. Uh, would you concur with that idea? Uh, to a certain extent, you know. There's a spiritual element to everything in life. There's a physical element to everything in life. Um, there's a mental element to everything in life. Um, but yeah, I, I would concur to a certain extent. Yeah. That's something I'd want to deep dive in one day, but uh, it'll have to wait for another time. Um, I know my colleagues are waiting. Um, <laughs> Derek, uh, pleasure meeting you for the first time. Uh, good luck Saturday, and hopefully we'll see a lot more of you uh, in the coming coming future. Sweet. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate